What's up, guys? Brad here, RodTrees.com. I wanted to give a shout out to everybody that um, has messaged us, emailed, called, uh, Facebook message, Instagram, uh, with all the questions about how the tri track works and you know what can be done with it. And we just finished a install on um, uh, customer Kevin's boat, who's here to pick it up and. Uh, we wanted to squeeze one more video out of this thing uh, before he, he takes it down the road. But um, so, nevertheless, let me kind of uh, talk a little bit about the tri track. Um, we've had a lot of stuff, people asking us, you know, how it works. Some people contradicting it and saying it won't work. And uh, you know, we appreciate the the bad just as well as the good because it allows us to perfect our product and look at things from a different angle. And being fishermen ourselves, you know, sometimes people see things differently. So you know, we take notice when you guys. Um, are messaging us and contacting us and stuff like that. So a little bit about the tri-track um, and how it how it sets up. Let me, uh, okay, so how the tri-track works. As you guys can see, there's feet here. This is a rough edge, just came out to saw, but um, you, you'll see there's feet here. You know, why there is, why we put feet in there. And that's just to create a step for the guys that want to put this on a gunnel. Um, if you put it on a flat, for instance, surface, I know this is a bad example, but it's what I got, so I'm gonna use it. Um, without that step, that wouldn't give you any room underneath to put your carriage bolts or your mounting brackets. Um, and that's both sides. So um, I'm gonna be doing a, a video uh, installation on uh, my boat Wayward Sun, which is uh, gonna be a gunnel mount. And uh, you guys can see that you don't necessarily have to use mounting brackets. This track just is, it, it gives you so many options as far as how you can uh, mount it to your boat, what it does for you, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna let the camera do the work. I'm gonna kinda hand the phone off and talk a little bit. Um, if you guys have any questions while I'm here, catch me while I got the boat. Um, I got another installation coming in, I believe the end of next week. Um, so we'll have, uh, you know, another uh, video on how these are gonna be mounted to uh, mounting brackets, but I am gonna do one with a uh, gunnel mount here probably in the next week or so on uh, my fiberglass boat. So nevertheless, let me hand over the camera and I'm gonna go through some things. A lot of people were asking about the Big John stuff uh, and we did initially with this boat, we built mounting brackets for the Big John. This is this was mounted to his uh, inside gunnel rail like so. Um, and uh, when we had the opportunity to talk about putting tri tracks on, um, we kind of went that route. So, with that being the case, Big John. For those of you guys that have, uh, you know, like four packs or three pack adjustables, they come with a base plate like this. Um, we had to design uh, a plate that actually goes in a traditional track, as you can see here. So when mounted together, they look like so, very simple. They go into the tri track right down the center of it. Bam, that's set up there. So um, that's to answer you guys' questions on how we made the Big John work in a track. Um, same thing with the Big John tree. Um, the base was a, a little bit wider for your traditional three inch slide plate. Um, so we milled it down and uh, created a mounting plate for it. And that's how that goes in there. It's just held in simply by thumb screws. So that basically covers those two questions. Um, I had another question on why we went with a 42 and a 90 degree angle. So Lund, I believe was the inventor, creator, first guys, I guess, to put out a uh, inside gunnel rail. And 42 was, um, I believe they were trying to go for 45, but uh, it ended up lying on 42. Tracker came out with a 90. So for longevity, the boats that are already on the market, we went with those two, figured those were um, the two most dominant, uh, angles that are out there. So if you know, there's other companies that they already make products where you guys might already have this stuff, rod holders or, um, you know, things that you're attaching to your boat. This allows you to do that as well. So when you put a track on your boat, you don't miss out on anything. You still have those um, rail slots there. So that covers that. Um, let's talk about how uh, we set it up on the boat. So. As you can see, underneath on the boat, you can see mounting brackets. 
Now, this is gonna be set up with a, with a inch and a half uh, track mount which this is a 42 and uh, it sets on like that. So that's how the track itself is, is put on the boat. When we get to the back half, there's a couple different options. We've had guys seen it and they're like, look, man, I need to have a rigger bar in the back of my boat. This is what I'm working with. How do we get it set up? A um, couple different options. So initially we, we came out with a offsetting step like this, um, you know, to go in and hold the tri track. And what we, what we figured out uh, was just for getting it in and out with the boat has a little bit of flex. The track actually put a lot of integrity into the boat. So um, the boat had a little bit of flex. So we made it uh, removable um, off knobs. As you can see, I take that off. That's the slide that holds the uh, tri-track in. It's grooved. So when you put it in, bam, it goes in. You just tighten the knob. She's locked in there, bam. So uh, a couple guys asked about the integrity of it. Um, I'm a bigger guy, I'm 275. And I mean, you're not really getting a lot of play uh, with, the, with the backbone that we, we design into the build of uh, the tri-track itself. So a um, couple other questions were how the grooves work and uh, what the angles and components we can put onto them. As you can see here, this is a three inch cup holder and that just goes on like so. And you can have, you know, your cup holder, whatever your component there. Um, let's say you had a rigger there or you want to put a rod holder. Cup holder doesn't have to move, bam. And uh, let's say you guys want to um, put a rod holder or something onto the backside. Give me a second. It's a couple knobs and I mean, that's just one area of the track. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys get an idea of what you can do with it. Um, the customer actually that's picking up the boat brought us an antenna mount. And uh, we were talking a little bit, let me show you over here. We were talking a little bit about um, how we're gonna mount this piece here itself. And literally I was just messing around through a couple carriage bolts in. This probably is not how we're gonna, uh, you know, get it set up at the end, but uh, you can see what you can do with the stuff. So that's a tree, you know, still give you full access to slide stuff in and out. So we have, we have a lot of components um, that we, you know, we wanted to release the, the tri-track itself uh, before we started putting stuff out because then it really didn't make a lot of sense and why we we're putting out these components. So we got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be focused on um, in the off season um this winter and, and and so on and so forth so next spring we're really looking forward to bringing you guys a lot of a lot of more stuff uh onto the website and uh if you guys have an idea or you see something or you're like would this work or can we do it uh you know get on the phone with us you know message so on and so forth putting our heads together get, get us a couple pictures of the boat um it's probably the best way to uh figure out what you want and how you want it set up and uh that's really all i needed to know um, and uh, we can kind of put our heads together. So um, one last thing I wanted to talk about was choosing rod angles for mounting brackets uh, to, to put a system like this on the boat. Um, very simple, uh, you can use either an angle indicator, which they sell at like Home Depot or Harbor Freight, or you can simply download uh, an angle finding app, which you can see here. Uh, you take that, you put it on your gunnel. I can't do it here because of the step there, but you, you put it where it's supposed to be. And I can't get a correct angle because there's a step right there, but, but that's gonna give you your, your best angle from that. So when, believe it or not, we get a lot of guys, having a lot of guys clown on me and I and, uh, can't believe you're making you know, products that for, for stuff that Lund doesn't uh, you know, have out there. Lund actually has five different angles that we have found um, with building these components. Uh, 42, 45, 48, 50, um, and 90. And the reason why that is important is because a lot of people, when they look at their boat, they they're, don't see that there's actually a little bit of an angle on your gunnel itself. Um, whether you're going down 
or up or whatever the case may be. So we're looking for the true angle to give us a true level area over your gun all your boat. So that's why that angle is important to us. So hopefully that answered some questions for you guys um, with what you can do with the tri-track and getting your boat set up. Um, we just moved to a new facility off Wadhams Road in St. Clair. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to come by um, nine to five through the week, through the week uh, itself. And then weekends just, you know, hit us up. We're usually here doing something, but um, you're more than welcome to bring your boat by. We're doing installation. So if you got an idea of how you want to get your boat set up, bring your boat in, we'll get the idea mapped out, get it installed for you, um, so on and so forth. So again, thank you everybody. Hopefully I answered uh, a bunch of questions uh, that I seen come in and um, what you can do with this and how we can get it set up and uh, hopefully we talk soon. So other than that, you can catch us on Facebook, rodtrees.com. Other than that, have a good day.